Okay, guys. Um, first, let me say I am no shape or form an expert in all things DCS Viper. Um, I've played it a lot, flown it a lot, picked up a lot of things. Some stuff I figured out. Uh, a lot of things are translated over from BMS. But I wanted to make this video real quick because it seems uh, a lot of things come up about the countermeasures with the F-16 with the Viper in regards to guys or I always see it in the forums and Facebook pages guys are like you know what's and going on? Three, airborne. why are my uh, chaff and flares always dumping I hit it once and it kind of pukes everything up and that has to do with the programming of your chaff and flares uh, program one program two now there's presets here and we'll get into that in a minute um, but that stuff is controlled not here on this panel, which is powered off at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that real fast. That's the RWR I turned on. Just it's part of my, my startup. I do that and I forgot. Um, but we'll, we'll go through it real fast or not real fast because I know there's some videos out there where the guys go through the CMDS stuff. They get impatient. They go through it real fast. And it kind of makes it hard to learn, so I'm going to go through it and try to explain it as best as I understand it. If I've got something wrong, which I may very well have, um, if there's guys that know way more about it than I do, feel free to chime in. I'm not going to hurt my feelings. Um, all I care about is trying to help other people and get the right information out there. So I'm going to look at this down here. Oops. Sorry, everything's moving fast. I'm going to go ahead and turn all this on. Turn RW on. Uh, turn on chaff, flare. And here you have your programming uh, preset program modes. One, two, three, and four. And to program it, go here. You can go to standby or you go to manual. I usually always go to manual. Um, I think the other modes, I have to read up on them. I think auto is just like it says auto. It lets the RWR control it and it automatically starts dumping things based off of your programming. Um, doesn't matter at this point if you set program one, two, three, or four. Because now that the system is on, we'll go to the ICP panel here. And we're going to be using this panel and this panel here to input our changes to the uh, programming for your chaff and, chaff and flare countermeasures. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to come here and click on list and then you'll see your options here uh, 1 through 0. If you hit 0 you're going to go to the second page of, of options but you want list in item 7 which is CMDS which is your countermeasure dispensing system or countermeasure deploying system whatever it's, it's that's your countermeasures. So click 7. So here you can set your BGOs. First page that comes up, you can set um, at what point your Mitch and Betty wants to tell you that you are low on chaff and flares. Um, in this case, we're dealing with the chaff right now. So if I want to change that to 10, as you can see, it's bracketed, it's highlighted. So I can change that to 10. Don't forget to hit enter or it will not accept your input. So I just put 10, enter, boom. So now when I'm down to 10 chaff, it'll tell me low. Okay. Your dauber right here, this little stick, you got up, down, return sequence. Um, you want to click it over on the sequence side or dauber right. And that'll take you to the programming page here. Okay. Here is where you're going to see what you what you can change. This is the intervals between. Let's see if I can I, I can explain this uh, best way I, best way I think I know how this works. This number here represents. Oops, my view changed. Sorry about that. My this number here represents the number of dumps when you press the button in manual okay so I press the manual but I press the 
countermeasures the button uh, I think it's CMDS left but I just have it I just have that one function slotted to a um, well here we'll take a look at it in my controls yep CMS switch forward that releases your chaff and flare okay so that's what you want to you want to program a CMS forward and that's going to hit your chaff and flare in manual mode. I do everything in manual mode. Um, that's just how I, how I do it. So anyways, you're still going to come here and change your programming. So currently we have program one selected and it doesn't matter what the switch says. You can change how you set up your programs all from right here. So this is when I push the CMS forward button one pulse and it's defaulted to 10 flares and 10 chaff are going to come out with one press so if you don't want to you know you got 60 of each so you got six presses of the button well you can change that here so if you want one dump of say three that's what I like to do so now you're going to dauber down this is the number that represents how many chaff or how many flare packets or chaff packets are going to be released and this is the interval between I believe this is the interval um, bet uh, between dumps so if you set this to 2 and you hit the, the CMS forward button once it's gonna dump 10 chaff 10 flare at 1 second intervals and then after it does all of that, the first 10, it's going to go 0 0.02 seconds, and then it's going to dump another 10 of each, if that makes sense. But here you can change it. In this case, I like to go with three. Three chaff, three flare. That gives me more pushes of the button. I don't ever really change the interval. The intervals you can change, one second intervals, two second intervals. This is the intervals in between each packet that comes out. So, number of pulses, if you will, or dumps, interval between dumps, number of packets, chaff and flare packets, or chaff or flare packets released in that dump, and the interval between each packet release, okay? And remember, keep in mind, we're setting this up just on the chaff okay so let's say you got your chaff set and you want for program one you want it to dump three chaff and three flare on each button push okay we can do that so you hit sequence again now you're adjusting your flares now you just dauber around to make your changes here so in this case we'll do three and three now you can sequence through all the other things as well um, you know chaff and flare is pretty much all you got loaded but hit in sequence you cycle back through other one and other two sequence again back to bingo page and then sequence back to chaff and flare now you can adjust using your dauber uh, let's see how did i do that before give me a minute i accidentally just backed out of everything said I'm not I'm not the expert on this and I've done this before where you change ah that's right program change I forgot use this button use these up and down buttons over here it just hit me so forgive me for drawing a blank on how to do that but I did so now we're into program two as you can see program two is different one pulse ten chaff hit program three two pulses and five chaff and flare and these are the default values so if you don't if you forget to set these up while let's say your INS is aligning you're gonna do a full alignment you got the time to do this if you forget to then you want the maximum amount of pull punches out of your programs 
and you forget to set everything up, just remember these are the default settings. Two pulses, five, it's still dumping 10 chaff, 10 flare um, at each time. So use your up and downs to go to cycle through your programs. Okay. So we we didn't change. Uh, so we got program one. So now let's say program two. You want chaff only. One dump of three chaff. I use three just because it puts a few of them out there to be useful, but not too many is that you don't have enough changes. Okay, so we change our chaff, and let's say you don't want any flare, you just want chaff. Again, I've set on program two, one pulse, three chaff, come over here to sequence, zero. I believe you gotta use both digits, or it won't take. So if you just try to go one digit, well, it still takes, so again, as I go. So now what we've just done is created program two to be chaff only. But you have to, you know, of course this falls on you to remember what you've programmed um, and what, what programs you've changed, you know, whether program one is a chaff and flare, program one is chaff only, program two is flare only, um, and you can set them up from any interval from zero pulses and zero chaff to one pulse and all 60, whatever you want to dump. And this is this is for manual mode. Um, I haven't used auto because I just have that tendency to, I want to be in control of when I want to dump my chaff and flare and not let the, the ship automatically start puking it out, which if you want to do that, you can do that to, you know, if you're busy doing other things, you can set up a program that says, you know, you, you have to remember to turn it to auto Oops, sorry. Um, but you have to remember to turn this switch here to auto so that the system controls when to dump chaff and flare. But you could set up, say, program three is for auto. So if you're going into area, you know you're going to be doing some air to ground work and you want to not have to worry about the chaff and flare while you're using controls for other things, then set up your auto and set up a program. It doesn't have to be program three. It could be any one of the four programs that you want. Just have to remember what you change them to. Um, I like changing, like I said, what I typically do is I always fly program one, three chaff, three flare, um, and that pretty much gives me multiple uses, whether against air threats or going in against uh, you know, SAM sites and things like that. If I know there's no air threats and I'm going in against SAM sites, I'll just turn the flares off. I'll just turn them off here and fly only with my chaff and still leave my, my program what it is. So, you know, you got power off the flares, you're not going to dump. But um, anyways, just remember, uh, you turn your panel on, you come over here to your ICP panel. Let's get back out of here so we can remember again. So list seven, okay. Dauber, here you set bingo for chaff and flares for whatever you've got loaded, okay. First is your bingo page. Sequence to change pulses, time between pulses, number of packets released per pulse, interval between packets. Okay, dauber up and down cycles between those items that you can change there. Sequence cycles between chaff flare, other one, other two. And up and down selector here changes you between programs for programming so that you can adjust 
the parameters of programs one, two, three, and four. Okay. This adjusts. This changes which program you're you're adjusting. Dauber up and down changes which parameter within the program you're going to adjust. Sequence changes you between chaff, flare, other one, and other two. And of course, return takes you back to the default page. Okay. So I hope this helps. If again, like I said, if there's folks out there way more knowledgeable and in depth and explored it that have had the time to sit down and go through this stuff, and you need to chime in in the comments to help people out, absolutely. Because, like I said, for me at the end of the day, it's about folks that need answers getting those answers, and I want them to have the correct information. So, if I'm off on something or I forgot something or left something out, by all means, put it in there. Because I'm always learning too. But that's what I I know to make changes. Um, and I've tested it so it works. I've done this in Falcon BMS. It works there too. It's all the same. So I uh, hope it helps. And uh, hope it kind of clears some things up for you guys.